All right, I know there's been a lot of discussion on what's the proper bridge length versus tree uh, rope length in order to get comfortable. Uh, the truth of the matter is that, you know, we're all different and you really want to fine tune this to what works for you uh, in the way that you hunt. If you tend to sit more in your rear end with your knees against a tree, if you want to stand more like I do and just rest with your knees barely against a tree, uh, you know, you want to be able to fine tune this. I know also that a lot of people are trying to get as lightweight saddles as you can. So I'm going to show you a method that you don't have to have any carbiners and all you need is a one piece of strap and you can make the bridge any length that you want, all right? Now, for the purpose of this video, I have this attached, but you can use this on both sides of the rope, what I'm going to show you. So I've got a strap here and basically all you're going to do is you're going to run it through your tree rope carbiner, all right? Then, to make this work, you figure out how long you want your bridge to be. So let's say I wanted about a 12 inch set bridge right now. What you do is you just tie a real quick overhand knot. Nothing fancy. Just try to keep everything flat and smooth, okay? But don't tighten it at this point. Instead, run it through your saddle loop. And then you want to follow along the back edge and run it back exactly the same way you just ran it through. And what that's going to do is that's going to give you a water knot in your bridge. And now I just tied about a 12 inch bridge and there you have it. Now any knot weakens any rope or strap to some degree, but this water knot, if you get a climbing rated one inch tubular nylon uh, strap, this will work fine. It, it's not going to make it to where it's unsafe. What I like about this is it gets rid of both of those carboners. You can, do, you can make adjustments out in the field if you find out, you know what, my bridge is a little too tight, it's pip, pinching on my hips, I want to lengthen it and shorten my tree rope. You can do all those things. Okay, I found for me personally, <laughs> the more I saddle hunt, and I spent quite a lot of hours in a saddle this year, I'm, I'm getting actually lower and lower with my hookup. I, I, there's times where I'll actually hook up to the tree almost at waist high, neck high, and I'll just tighten that up and use a shorter bridge. And for me, this is just comfortable. I, I mean, I don't get no hip pinch out of this. It's very easy for me now to maneuver. My arm's not making contact. In fact, I have to draw down in order to make contact. I still have all the flexibility. I still can walk the tree. Uh, I've got this looped around twice, but if I didn't, if I had one with the T-screw in the back, it's very easy to pick it up, walk around the tree, and move that around. So, you know, this is how I hunt. This is what I like. But uh, hopefully this will be handy for y'all to learn how to tie these water nets around a, a fixed loop, you know, without the use of a carpenter. It'll save you a little bit of weight. It'll save you some metal and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully you'll find this helpful. Okay, real quickly, I just wanted to demonstrate on this video how you do this attachment. So let's say this is the end of your strap. Once you come through your loop on your saddle. Well, you know what, let me start off. First you got to put the knot in the, the strap. So let's say we tie the overhand knot. It's nothing more than something like this. That's all it is, okay? Then you're going to go through your loop. And hopefully you can see this alright. All right. Then you're going to follow this through that knot, okay? Now watch what I do. I go on the back side. I fo I'm following it around. And as you can see, it goes over the top. I'm going to follow it around that end. And then right back through the loop. I know this is probably hard to see. I wish I had another person helping. I'm going to follow that through the loop, and that ties up into a nice, simple water knot. That's all there is to it. It's a really simple thing. To undo it, you just reverse the steps. Okay? You just take the loop and tie it. And you have to undo the knot. So hopefully that, that makes sense to you. Uh, I don't know how to demonstrate this any clearer than that. Let me see if I can get it really close here. So you start with that knot like that, okay, and then you're going to go around through that, through your saddle over here, and then you, you're going to follow the outside of it. See how that does? And then you're going to come around, and you just keep following it around here, and then it's going to ultimately go around the back side 
come through here and that makes your simple water knot okay just like that hopefully this will help somebody